Hey everyone, welcome to Bob's Training Lead Code Solution. So if you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bobstraining.org. Moreover, if you would like to receive the latest technology uh, tech interviews as long as the technology news, feel free to subscribe us uh, on WeChat. This is our WeChat QR code. Okay, so today we're going to uh, talk about this problem, uh, lowest common ancestor of a binary tree. Remember, we have talked about a problem called the lowest common ancestor of a binary search tree. So the only difference is in a binary search tree for a node, you know whether it resides on the left or right side of this binary tree. Uh, where else in this, uh, in the binary search tree, where else in a binary tree, you don't know. You have to look to both the left side and the right side. So uh, in general, this problem can be solved in two ways, just intuitively. You could first of all find one node you have a path and then you find other the other node and then you have another path so now you have two linked lists not linked lists but two paths like lists uh, containing all this information now this problem becomes a very classic problem in linked list which is find the first common node in a linked list where you know you would just keep two pointers one pointer and then one pointer moves um, x steps where x is the uh, length difference between these two lists and then you will, you will keep this two pointer one pointer moves x step forward and then you keep this two pointer moving forward and then you will find the first one that will be the uh, the lowest common ancestor for um, <clears throat> the other method is kind of hard to think but it's very clever um, so with my with the, this first method using list as we know, the time complexity will be uh, O n because first of all, when you find this node, because you don't know whether you go left or right, so you have to traverse both sides, so that will give you O n complexity, and then later on, when you traverse this list, there's another O n complexity, and uh, for time for space complexity, because you keep this two list, so the worst case would be O n because it will be this tree will be just like a line, right? Um, the other method is uh, kind of a re is a recursion, kind of using the post order type of thought, which is if you have the if you um, you just keep finding your left subtree and the right subtree. So if you find the node, you just return this node back. So in that case, the first node that is left subtree, left part is not now, and the right part is now now will be the lowest common ancestor. For example, six or seven. In that case, five will be the lowest common ancestor because you find a 7 here, you keep recursion, this is not now in that case, and 6 is not now, and the 5 will be here. Uh, for the special case that a node, the parent, um, so one node is the parent of the other node, like 5 and 6, the common ancestor will be 5. It's still okay because when you find a 6, you return it back. When you find a 5 here, you return 5 back. And then here, because on the, on the right side, you didn't find anything. So in this case, you will return now and then for three so five and nothing so you return five back so it's, the answer will still be correct um, with this method the time complexity will be uh, o n because you still traverse um, to, in order to find the node you still have to uh, traverse all the tree but the space complexity uh, if you don't think about recursion then there will be o one space complexity okay so let's code it up this method Okay, um, did they say anything about the P and the Q? Okay.
So if you root equals to null, you want to return it back directly. And uh, so if, for example, the um, current node just equals to either P or Q, so it means you find the node, and then you just want to directly return, right? Just want to return it back. You know what? This can be optimized. Okay, so if it's not current node, you want to recursively find the node, right? So that means um, if you find the node on both sides of the tree, so if So this means this root will be the one we want, right? And uh, else case is basically you didn't find it in both. If this no. All else means either one of them is now, right? All else will be the this case. So. What we want to return is, um, let's say if um, left equals to now what is the return right or else we return left so if left equals to now it's fine so that means it's now we didn't find it okay so Let's see. So first we do some check, and then, so this is our recursion returning function. So as long as this, if this node equals to now already returned, or else with this node not equal to now, right? So if it equals to P or it's equal to Q, so you just return root, so it means you already find the node. If you didn't find the node, what you will do is you re recursively doing the left part, you recursively doing the right part, so if it's not equal to now, so it means the current node is definitely the, the lowest one, so you just keep returning it back. And uh, else, so whenever one is not now, so you will just return that one. Okay, I think it looks correct, let's see. Okay, yes, this is basically the method. It's a little bit hard to think, but the first method I also paste the code in our blog, uh, that's more like easy to think, but the implementation part is a little bit of more code. All right, thanks a lot for watching.